This is Eyewitness News at 5, and we are streaming live on CBS in Philly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartelli. Another big day in the road to recovery as Pennsylvania and Delaware governors announced that they are lifting most restrictions. This comes just one day after New Jersey did the same. It's a giant step toward normalcy more than one year after everything shut down. We have team coverage of today's developments. Alicia Reed has the update from Delaware, but we begin with health reporter Stephanie Stahl and where things stand here in Pennsylvania. Hi, Stephanie. Well, Pennsylvania will drop nearly all COVID restrictions before the start of the summer season. It's been a long, difficult year, but officials say we have finally made significant progress in the fight against the virus. A tweet from Governor Wolf announced all COVID restrictions in Pennsylvania would be gone on Memorial Day. Capacity limits on gatherings, restaurants, and other businesses will be lifted May 31st. But people will still be required to wear masks until 70% of Pennsylvanians are fully vaccinated. I want to issue this warning. You know, everyone wants this epidemic to end, but this epidemic is not over yet. We have more than 100 people being hospitalized and 50 people dying. Every week now. The Philadelphia Health Make Commissioner has not decided if the city will continue to be more restrictive than the state. It has been so far because the virus has been more concentrated and dangerous in the city. We've come this far by following the science. I recognize the political pressure on people and the economic pressure, but um, there's no sense in coming this far and then loosening to the point where we slide back. Infection rates are declining everywhere, and while vaccinations are up, the rate has slowed. In Pennsylvania, about 40% of the population is fully vaccinated. We have come a long way. Unlike the guarded reaction from Philadelphia officials, Jean Franklin, director of the Chester County Health Department, says she's happy to go along with the state's lifting of restrictions. I am excited. This is what we've been working toward. Chester County has done phenomenal. And we will continue to to get us to uh, you know to that 31st, and then ultimately to that 70%, so we can pretty much get back to normal. Now, masks indoors will probably be required for a while until more people are fully vaccinated. But in terms of not wearing a mask outside, Pennsylvania is now following those CDC regulations, which say. Fully vaccinated people don't need to wear masks outside unless you're in a big crowd. So mm. lots of progress here. Indeed. Lots indeed. Okay, Stephanie, thank you.